Hi guys, welcome back. Before I start this video, I would just like to tell you that this is the third time I have filmed this video. Filmed it the first time and then realised I had like lipstick all up my cheek. And then I filmed it the second time and it would not upload. Like I filmed it and I edited it and all that and it just would not upload. It was taking like 15 hours so I decided to just scrap it and film again and hopefully this one goes up. This is my February favourites. I know it's like the middle of March now but uh, better late than never right? I am feeling a little bit worse for wear this week but you know life goes on just to go to grin and bear it. Uh, so I am just going to jump in and like tell you guys what was my favourite things this month. My first favourite this month is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk featuring Waterlock Moisture Trapping My Matrix and Irresistible Almonds Oats and Sugar Brown Sugar Scent. I love the Soap and Glory products because I tell you what um, it smells like because sometimes I sniff things and I'm like I can't describe what this smells like, can't you tell me what it is? Oh, it smells lovely. This is a water locking moisturiser, so it's great for when you come out of the bath or out of the shower and you're not like fully dry, but you can still put it on when you're kind of damp and it just kind of like locks the moisture into your skin to stop you from drying it. And also, it smells amazing. Those are basically my two favourite things about it. This, this is why it's my favourite thing. And a small pump goes a long way, like a full, one full pump can do like both legs. Another full pump can do like your full upper body. I got this in the Soap and Glory case at Christmas and uh, I've been using it since then but I never done a January favourite so this is kind of like a mixture of both. So yeah, um, I would recommend this because it smells amazing and just, just I actually just recommend this because it smells amazing. Yeah, so if you like lovely smelling almond oats and brown sugar scents then I suggest this. My second favourite is this Garnier Intense 7 day moisturiser for dry and chapped hands. I bought this a couple of weeks ago because I work, where, when I'm working my hands get really dry and like chapped and stuff and like cracked and all cuts and I had this, this whole part of my hand, all the knuckles were like dry and every time I had like for my fist or if I was holding something the cracks would like bleed so I bought this hoping this would work and it has worked because I've got no cracks in my hands I've been using it every day I don't say it's intense seven days so it's supposed to work within the first seven days but I've just been using it every day just so that doesn't happen again Um, uh, this cost me one ninety nine from body care I just went in to look for um, I went in to look for any kind of moisturiser for my hands because my hands were getting really really sore and I found this one and I bought it it's one ninety nine, and this one smells like she bar. My next favourite is my Fitbit. I bought this six weeks ago. I bought it six weeks ago and I've been using it every single day. The thing's not in it because it's charging but um, this is a Flex 2. Uh, it tracks many steps you've done, you can log your food, you can log how much water you've drank, it also tracks how you've been sleeping which is a big plus for me because I, I don't sleep very well. I wake up like I woke up at half past four this morning and I was awake for like an hour I just could not get to sleep. Um, I was like wide awake at half past four this morning not like just a little bit awake where I needed to go pee and then go back to bed. No I was wide awake ready to start my day. I was like no Far too early, far far too early. It's my day off man, I need to chill. Um, so yeah, I like this because it just tracks a lot of different things and it keeps me motivated. I've not had it on the last two days because I've been too busy to charge it. I've been working the whole of the last two days and so it's been sitting in my bag and I've been kind of like not bothered with my, I'm not, I'm not on a diet, I'm like trying to change what I eat and what I drink and my activities and stuff so that I'm more active and I'm eating healthier and I'm drinking more water instead of like four bottles of iron brew a day and you can also like on the app you can also connect it to friends that have got a Fitbit 
like you can connect it to your Facebook and then you connect it to friends on there and then you can like have competition, see who can step the most in one day, who can do this and who's sleeping better, who's eating better. Like it's like competition between each other and I think competitions when you're doing these kind of things makes you more motivated. Well it does for me because it makes me like well um, if this person can do it then I can do it better kind of thing. Well you can find other types of like activity bracelet, activity wristband thingies um, on Groupon and Moucher and like eBay and stuff and that costs like £20 but this one costs 70 Um, This little strap with a little bit of um, technology and inside cost me £70 but yeah I'd suggest something like this but maybe not a Fitbit because they're kind of expensive and there is other things out there that do the same job but are less expensive if you can't afford a Fitbit. Uh, my next favourite are these proper corn done properly lightly sea salted popcorn things. These are only 88 calories a bag which is why I love them because my biggest downfall is crisps or chips if you're American. Um, I could eat like so many bags of crisps a day. Like, what's it and quavers and skips I can eat honestly about 10 packets of them a day I can just eat and eat and eat them just because they're so moorish and Pringles and Doritos I just love crisps and so that's my downfall but I have been eating these and they kind of take a while to eat because you know popcorn gets stuck in your teeth and everything and it annoys you so you have to pick it out um, but I like these you can get them in a sweet and salty flavour as well which is really nice but I have the lightly salted ones right now I'm maybe going to buy the sweet and salty ones tomorrow but yeah these are a good alternative to crisps if you like to eat a lot of crisps my next favourite is a bit of a weird one and it should be everyone in the whole entire world's favourite and it is water I've been drinking I drank four litres of water yesterday and I peed like a fountain I was drinking the water going to the toilet drinking the water going to the toilet but um yeah I used to drink, as I said, about four bottles of Iron Brew every single day and I gave up fizzy just for Lent. Lent started last Wednesday and I have almost, I've been very good, I've maybe had a sip of Coke Zero but I've not had any Iron Brew. Um, I've just been drinking water or diluting juice and I feel so much better for it like I've got so much more energy um, not like sluggish because I'm like I need the sugar I've not got like a sugar rush and then completely like bleh. like you know you get that sugar that drop after you've had so much sugar but honest, I don't feel like this with water I wake up with the same amount of energy every morning mostly and I just drink water and I don't it doesn't diminish my attitude during the day because I'm not like craving the sugar and the water's amazing. My next favourites are the new covers on the Harry Potter books. Like not the Harry Potter books because they're my favourites for life. But aren't these covers so pretty? These are the only two I've got so far. Um, I may go and buy two more today because in Asda it's two for seven pounds. Um, so I'm going to go buy two more of the new Harry Potter covers. I do have a set already in like a collector's case which I've read all those ones and they're kind of like hard to get back in the case because they've been open so many times um, but they're so pretty and like look at this look at the illustrations they're beautiful got Hagrid and Hermione and Ron and Harry and the castle like all the stars and it's this purple purple's my favourite colour and then you've got the second one the Chamber of Secrets and you've got Nagini but although Nagini's not in that that's a different snake never mind you've got the serpent there that Harry can speak to and he's got the uh, Gryffindor sword and all the stars again and this one's green and it's so pretty so yeah I just love how cute these are and they're so pretty and they're so magical I love them like Harry Potter's magical and you've got the first one has got an evil in the back the second one's got Dobby and his gigantic ears like he does not have ears that big in the movie my first beauty um favourite is these nail polishes from Nulik. They are textured coloured ones and they're like glittery. This one is um, 
got multicoloured glitter in it. It's really pretty. This one is black nail polish with black glitter in it. It's like black and um, silver, and it's so that's my favourite one. It's this is a textured one, so when you feel it, it's kind of like grey. And this one is just a pink glittery one, which is so so pretty. It's a lovely pink colour, also. Um, I got them from New Look. They were like three for the price of two. I can't remember how much they were individually. I think it was like one ninety nine and two ninety nine, depending on what one you got. But yeah, they're really cool. I my next beauty favourite is the Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara from Soap and Glory. This has just been my favourite since Christmas, since before Christmas, since before Christmas, since Christmas, since I got the bait boot thingy. I've been wearing it quite often, not every day because I don't want to run out of it. Um, but yeah, um, I just like how much volume they give your eyelashes. Like, I've got the benefit the real right on right now and I give you a lot of length but not much volume and I like this one because I like the volume and a little bit of length because I don't want my eyelashes to be touching my eyebrows because then it's just weird I don't like that feeling when you feel them like scratch the top of your eyebrows my next favorite is the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade uh, brunette because I am a brunette but yeah this is a double ended Eyebrow pencil. You've got spoolie on that end, and you've got the pencil on this end. And yeah, it's just like I just like it because it's so thin and precise. Like you can get a good shape with them without having to like you don't have a, like a big chunky pencil and it doesn't look like your eyebrows are being um, sharpied on. Anyway, um, yeah, this is my favourite. Pencil, eyebrow pencil. I've been using this for months now. I think I've gone through about four of them. Um, so this isn't a recent favourite. This has just been my favourite for ages. My next favourite is my Colourpop liquid lipsticks and satin lipstick. This is a satin one and the shade Aquarius. Is this just Aquarius? Because yeah, there's an Aquarius too. Um, and that's that colour. That's Aquarius in the satin one. Um, this is Aquarius matte. Um, this is Aquarius two, and that's the one right there at the bottom. And the next one is called Viper. This is a, it's like a purpley color. Uh, and that's it there. So yeah. Um, I got these because Kathleen Lights came out with um, a trio for Aquarius. She got a satin lip, a matte lip and a gloss which is on my lips right now. Um, and obviously because I am an Aquarius, my birthday is on 21st of January, I bought them like as soon as she came out with them. I went on a Colourpop website that day and bought them. Colourpop stuff's amazing. It's just so good. I fell asleep. I fell asleep with the satin lipstick on and I woke up and it was still on. That is how good the satin one is. The liquid lipstick can be on your, I'd say it's got about a six hour life before it starts to crumble off but then it depends on what you're eating and drinking and stuff so yeah that's really good and it's so comfortable like you can barely feel it on your lips and it doesn't transfer onto like you can, I kiss my, you can kiss your hands or you can kiss someone and it won't transfer onto them. Unless you like rub it on their clothes and then it'll just wipe it off. So yeah, that is all my favourites for this month. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And leave comments down below. Tell me what your favourites were this month. Or if you have a favourites video and I will watch it. Um, thank you again. See you. Bye.